And on my side, just to show really quick, now that I have a student in there, I can see and I can start to look at what that student is working on, including viewing their chat, pausing it and removing them if they were a student that is not in my class who somehow managed to get the code anyway. But let's watch David here a little bit as he begins to interact uh, with this particular AI tool. Yeah, so there's a couple of things to point out. Um, you have the title up there, you got a graphic over here, which is kind of cool, reminds me of like AI, like Dolly, Dolly uh, 3 that, you know, put your AI images out there for that. Um, there's the ability to leave the room. I can exit that. Um, I can click on my settings here and change the languages if I need to. Um, right here, you'll see English and Spanish, and then I can do view all if it happens to be uh, another language. Um, and then there is the main space here, which uh, is very much like anything else that we've looked at. Uh, reminds me of something like ChatGPT where you have your stream of conversation going on and the ability to send the messages. Um, so this is the prompt for women's uh, or women inventors. Uh, today, we're going to dive into the world of women inventors and the incredible impact their inventions have had on society. Are you ready to get started? Um, there's two buttons underneath. Uh, one of them allows you to copy the message give a thumbs up or thumbs down on the message, or you can have it speak. It might be difficult for people to hear that are watching, but you you can confirm for us that it, it speaks so it's on your screen. Yeah, so it, it was uh, it was going through it. Uh, hopefully it sound, sounds okay on the viewer's end, but um, I, I really like that feature because, you know, if you have a student that is, that needs to have it read to them, um, it's just right there. I mean, it's built into the space that we're, the student is working in, um, and that's great. And then likewise, you know, you can have them speak whatever they want to ask as well. Um, I could certainly put in here, um, how do I begin to learn about this topic? Okay. And just for the sake of this, I could, I could hit enter, but I do want to just show, we'll allow that. How do I begin to learn about this topic? And it didn't pick it up exactly the way I wanted. I think I, maybe I didn't speak very clearly, um, but you have that feature there. Uh, and then I hit send and the AI will respond and I can interact with it as we go. So let's start by exploring a common problem you face daily. Can you think of one? Uh, next, we'll see how an invention by a woman could help solve it. Um, let's say, <clears throat> I don't... We're gonna try that and see what we can come up with here. So that's kind of cool. So this is one that I didn't know anything about. So understanding airplanes involves many aspects, but did you know a woman played a key role in making flights safer? Bessie Blunt Griffin, an inventor and scientist, created a device in 1945 that helped injured World War II veterans feed themselves. I won't read the whole thing, but um, what what's really cool about these spaces is that, um, you know, some of the prompts that we've done as as the teacher side, um, it always feels like we're asking the system to perform something for us. And these these spaces they act more like a conversation. And what I like is that it will probe the student um, with you know a. To, to get them thinking or get them started and they'll ask their question and then it'll give them an answer to that question the best it, that it can but then it will follow up and so the second half here you can kind of see fascinating isn't it would you like to learn about more women who made significant contributions to science and technology so you can you just continue the conversation there and so if jeremy on his side as the teacher he's like 
hey, we're going to go into the women inventors section here and we're going to take about 15 minutes to have a, a conversation and see what kind of uh, information we can generate based on each individual student's interactions with the system. So pretty cool stuff. Yeah, and I, I could show you from the teacher side here, if I were to go in and click on David's name here, um, I get that pulls up on my screen everything that he is discussing with that chat button. I have that history of it. Um, and also from here, I can, you know, as we showed before, I can pause him or I can um, kick him out if I think that he is not engaging um, appropriately with the chat bot. Um, so really kind of cool. And as a teacher, like I think David was saying too, if you see like all of a sudden 10 of your students are asking about um, airplanes and, and what role women had with the invention of things to make airpl airplanes safer, um, that would be a spot where I would like, hey, I know something now that my students are interested in. Let's use that as a chance to engage them um, into some deeper learning as well. Yeah, so. that's something that I would definitely do as a teacher. I would, it, as students were going through this, I would definitely have my, my side open and be looking at responses so that I could be thinking of like, you know, probing questions once that 15 minutes is up and how are we going to discuss this? Or I saw, you know, student A, you were looking at um, this uh, Bessie Griffin, you know, um, mm -hmm. what did you learn? That type of thing. So. Right. Great, great way to get a discussion going about different things and, and bringing together stuff that students had all learned as well. Okay.